All right, guys, how are we doing today? This is the uh, grade 3.7. Um, doing a video strictly about uh, how to for gears for your S550 Mustang V6. Um, had a lot of questions, comments, uh, both on my YouTube uh, videos and also on my Instagram page. Um, people asking me, um, how, how did you do it? How, how did you do it? Thought you needed this. Um, IRS loaded differential housing that comes complete with the 3730s already built in and then you see the price tag associated with that 1800 bucks that's not even installed how much did you spend was it you know another 500 on top of that for the install um, no didn't do any of that stuff because you don't need this to upgrade your gears um, and, and I'm going to tell you why uh, hopefully I can explain this in detail um, we're going to try to get a American Muscle rep in chat here in a second um, and so they can kind of verify it for you as well so you're not just hearing it from me and I'll also show you later on in this video um, the parts that were taken off of my car so you can kind of see it. Um, I'm a visual guy. I like to see things myself uh, before I spend a penny on anything um, but there doesn't appear to be a lot of videos out there for these S550 V6s with gear upgrades. So here we are. I do know there's another guy out there, uh, Brent, that's done the same upgrade. Um, he's got a uh, just a gorgeous looking um, S550 V6, full bolt on, 373s. He got his, I think, two or three weeks before I did. Um, but this was so many, um, so, so much feedback and question about this. I wanted to do this video for you guys. So we're going to kind of run through this. Um, you don't need this. Um, you don't need to spend $1,800 just on this part before you even spend a penny on labor. What you do need is first you're going to need these gears. Um, you're going to need the 3730s. Um, you can see here uh, 197.99. Not bad, right? 200 bucks for your gears. You go down here. Let's see. Application. V6 uh, Echo Boost in GT models. But this application though is where we run into confusion. These are not compatible with 315 ratio differential. You must use differential, this part number, or this part number. Um, so, okay, now we're scratching our heads at this point. So, if we click on this part number here, it gets even more confusing. Uh, because here we've got the differential, only $178, so cool. 200 on the gears, 179 on this. Uh, but what about this? 15 through 17 GT. It doesn't mention the V6. Uh, if we scroll down, we'd run into this same thing we saw in the last page, not for use with 315 gears. But that's where we got to think for a minute. That's not going to be a problem for us. We're, we're not still going to have 315 gears when we install this differential. We're going to be pairing it with these 373 gears. Um, so not a problem. So the only problem we have left at this point is clarification on whether this is strictly only for the GT model. Um, so that's where we're going to go ahead and pop a note chat with the American Muscle representative. Um, I did this same thing on my own uh, about a week ago just to see what they'd say and I sp uh, spoke to a rep named Allie and she did confirm that since the V6 and GT both have an 8.8 uh, rear ends that this differential was compatible when paired with the 373 gears that we've already seen uh, and that's what I have installed in my Mustang guys so let's go ahead and pop in the chat and um, hopefully we'll get the same answer twice because I highly doubt I'm going to get Allie again but you never know but uh, let's see what happens uh, it says we got rough hey guys I am a slow typer so you're going to have to bear with me I have a 2016 Mustang V6 looking at the three, two, three gears. It says I need a different differential. If I have three one 
fives stock I do it says you need differential part number um, m dash four two four dash m when I click when I check that part it says GT only but if I'm pairing that differential with new 373 gears it still be compatible Six since they both have eight point eight rears. I right, guess so now we'll wait and see. Oh, uh, this is exactly what I did. Uh, about a week ago, Ali told me that um, it was compatible, that it would work. Um, I already know that, obviously. I've had it installed. Um, that's what my installer used at Dell Performance Speed Job. But um, American Muscle is usually pretty great, but there has been a couple times that I've gotten two different answers from people. So we're going to go ahead and see what Rob says. I'm sure he's uh, checking how to do this. So let's just hang tight and uh, see what he has to say. Still typing. Okay, thanks, Rob. So he's checking. Um, you know, I'm fairly certain he's going to come back with the same answer. I'm sure they have the same, um, you know, processes or whatever they do to check on things for customers, and whether they're talking to somebody or it's some kind of. Uh, search engine they've got internally to answer questions like this, but um, I think we'll see in a minute uh, Rob's and respond. Yeah, you're good to go because we've got to call it what it is guys. It, it's um, Simple mechanics in my mind. They're both 8.8 .8 rear ends um, If I'm pulling the guts out which is the gears and the differential and then pairing um, That differential we were just looking at that says GT only with the 373s Obviously, it's gonna work um, and, and I know that because I haven't installed, but you know, I wanted to do this extra step with this chat just so you guys could see um, see somebody from the American Muscle Team say yes, those parts will go together, um, yes, you're good to go, um, and then show you some of the other stuff we're talking about under the car and the parts that were actually removed from my car. So he just read uh, me telling him thanks. Uh, hopefully he'll be typing some more here in a minute and then we'll have our definitive answer from the American Muscle representative so let's just hang tight I uh, appreciate the patience uh, so several people have asked um, you know if I think throttle bodies and cold air takes are a waste of time I, I don't think they are I mean I think if you're going to go all in and do everything you can do to your car those are definitely going to be on the list but you know, if I'm going in order of what should I do, uh, first, second, third, those types of things to get the biggest uh, seat of your pants, you know, improvement in the drivability of that Cyclone S550, man, it's, you know, you drive that tuner first um, with a tune, you know, but I've always, um, always recommended MPT 91 or 93. Uh, but you're going to need that tuner for other things, man. If you change your uh, your wheels and your tires, you're, you're going to have to make adjustments with your tuner for that. Um, you can clear fault codes. Uh, if you do this gear upgrade, you can use that same tuner to um, adjust for your new gears. 
So the, that, that's your first stop, uh, if you're me, is grab that tuner and get you that 91 or that 93 tune from MPT. Um, and then to me, your next performance stop is these gears, man. Um, after that, you just kind of uh, roll with it how you see fit. For me, the next thing is going to be a single piece drive shaft. And uh, after that, I'm going to get some long tubes. But Rob is finally responding here. Let's go ahead and see what he said. Suspense is killing me. And you guys are tired of listening to me ramble. Uh, so hopefully we can hurry up, finish up this chat with Rob, and uh, move on. Okay, he's still doing some research. Let's just hang tight. Just gonna tell him, okay, no worries. Um, and, and guys, just so you know, he's checking on the axle spline, but um, I, I researched earlier today, and what I found is that the, both the GT, all, all of the S550 models have a 31, I think it's 31 spline, um, so there really shouldn't be an issue there um, when he comes back. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, um, or I might have to edit out some of this talking. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to take this long. Allie, Allie took a few minutes to give me an answer, but uh, we were already done talking by this point, so I was kind of hoping it would go by that fast as well with this chat. Um, but, you know, I, I appreciate Rob is, you know, He's being thorough. He wants to make sure he tells me the right thing. Um, don't want people out there spending money on things that they can't use or won't work or will break something in their car. So you know, that, that's the, the professional way to go about something in my mind. Uh, contemplating whether I should tell him that when I researched the, the spline. Uh, Axle splines are the same for all, all models. Maybe I will. So I just typed in, I checked this out earlier, it said all those 550 models have the same spline, but I'm hoping you can confirm as well. Thanks. So hopefully, guys, hopefully he'll confirm that as well, um, in case any of you guys are you know, more knowledgeable than I am about this kind of stuff, you might have been wondering the same thing. But uh, we'll go ahead and see what Rob says here. Uh, he's reading that too. Uh, he's typing. And hopefully this is the answer, so we can kind of move along. I was hoping to keep this video somewhat short. Um, no 10, 12 minute videos are tough for me to watch, and I'm sure they are for you guys. So I've been trying to get focused on making my videos a little bit shorter. Um, so let's see what Rob's going to say. Still typing? Still typing, so let's see. Okay, so he says that's what I'm finding here for performance. Does list this as fitting the GTV6 and Echo Boost as well. I'll pass some feedback over my end to see if we can get that listing updated. You would be just fine there. Okay, so there we go. There's our confirmation, guys. Um, and I'm just going to tell them the thanks. All right, guys. So really wanted to show you what was removed from the car stock so you can really get a visual of what I'm trying to explain to everybody and kind of kill this debate about you needing that entire 
real ho uh, rear housing kit on American Muscle that costs like 1800 bucks to upgrade from a 315s to like a 373 on your S550 V6. Uh, you don't need that housing. So I'm just going to kind of show you what they took off the car and explain it to you a little bit. Um, I keep everything that comes off my car. I've got like a stock parts graveyard in my garage. But uh, here's some of the stuff specific to the gears. You can kind of see in here uh, some of these rings and gaskets and things. Pinion. Um, over here is the, the really important part that people are confused on. So you've got this portion down here. This is the differential, guys. The stock differential that comes with the 315s, this part here is what won't allow you to just slap new 373 gears in your car. You've got to get the gear, part number uh, ending in A on American Muscle, if you're going with 373s like I did. But you also have to change out this piece, the differential, which will allow you to go from the stock 315s to the 373s. So they'll pop open the existing housing because it's 8.8 .8 rear end, just like on the GT. They'll change out the differential and then they'll install your new 373 gear with it. Also with the pinion that comes with the gear set, um, kind of bolt everything back together in the existing housing that came with your car. Um, then you got 373 gears. Um, and these is this is literally everything that they took off the car. And these two little bags that were in this box and you can see this box is not even that big you can see my hand that's it there's no housing um, so I'm gonna try to scoot over to the back of the car and show you a shot underneath just so you can see that the housing that's under my car is the same housing that came with it and should look identical to what you have under your car so uh, let's go check that out okay guys so this is underneath the car uh, as you can see, that little sticker there, I think you can see the back of the housing there, that, that came with the car. I mean, that's stock sticker, same housing. Uh, you can even see a little bit of the sealant right there between those two bolts from when they put everything back together with fresh sealant. Tighten everything down and a little bit of it comes out. Uh, that's perfectly normal. Um, not bothering me at all. It's not affecting anything, so I'm not going to climb under there and pull that little piece of sticky goo whatever it is i don't know what they use under there uh, but that is identical if you have an s550 v6 mustang that's the same housing you've got under your car with the 315s and it's the same housing that you'll use if they upgrade you to 373s uh, you'll just have different gears and the differential that i've already shown you uh, put back inside that same housing there you do not need the 1800 um, full housing on American Muscle. They make that part um, to kind of put it all in one big piece so you can just kind of unbolt everything, slap it in, because it's already got the gears in it. This is a little more difficult. Um, I don't advise changing at a differential and your gears yourself unless you're a really experienced mechanic. Um, and I don't advise taking it to any Joe Sh Schmo mechanic you might have in town. Um, take it to a, a uh, reputable shop, a uh, speed shop, somebody that specializes in gears um, so they know exactly what they're doing here all right guys